What is up, guys? Of course, always welcome to another Wi-Fi battle in a league. Actually, <laughs> finally, we're back to league. We're gonna get a great guy named. Uh, just gonna probably butcher this, which is called O Ogalbina, and um, he's been just really nice, and I've actually been enjoying just chatting with him. So I'm kind of nervous. I know he's a veteran player, and um, you know, my team is not necessarily perfect, and um, this isn't helping. <laughs> <laughs> he got a great team going on here. Uh, most of the Pokemon here looks to be the part. Oh, also the league's name. Uh, the the GDL or the Galar Defenders League. Um, but yeah, this team looks the part. Like, there are a lot of things here I don't want to deal with. Doug Trio for one being probably one of the worst of the things I want don't want to deal with. Uh, overall though, I feel my... Uh, uh, my... what do you call it? can't say its name for some reason, but uh, my Gigantamax variant of um, Toxtricity, Jesus Christ, is probably like one of the greatest things I got, and uh, then I don't necessarily deal well at all, actually, with all creamy, and besides that, like, my guacamole here is a Grassy Seed, Volca variant, be able to set up versus a few Pokemon, Majin Buu has the necessity to set up leftovers, which is gonna be great, uh, I don't switch into Kelio at all. Uh, I'm going in with this game knowing that if Kelio comes in for free, then that's the game we play. <laughs> so I'm feeling confidence. Of course. Um, <laughs> jokingly, but yeah, this is a tough team. And we're going to treat it as such. Uh, he calls himself Owen in game, so I figure that's what his real name actually is. And for you guys doesn't know, I am Chris the Scarander, just to kind of have that feel. For some reason, I'm rambling, I'm clearly nervous. Starts off with Red Riot. Now, I have two ways of dealing with this, but as kind of my leverage is here, I can actually go directly for a Boom Burst, and that shouldn't do... That should do all right. Or I go for a Dynamax Boom Burst and lower his speed. Uh, because Gigantamax Stone Shock will guarantee Paralyze or Poison something. And that's always a merit. Now, we aren't like super speedy, so if he goes for a bandit U turn, he's probably going to outspeed. So, and the shift carry is actually only there for uh, potential setup, which I don't believe I got the option to pull off. But a minor speed here would be nice. If it comes in a Dug Trio, that would be tremendous. We'll see what he decides to do, as uh, I do outspeed him here, which I was kind of surprised about. So we get that minus speed, which is all right, but uh, not maybe the best hit to get off. Uh, so it's a bulkier variant for sure. U-turn doesn't do anything. So that's good. So I'm figuring Doug Creo is his switch in. He has a lot of things that can go his way, but Doug Creo is probably like the safest mom to send in. Uh, we're easily gonna take an earthquake. No, we're not, but uh, we're still stuck here. Uh, I wanted minus speed on this one, so this bothers me a little bit. This earthquake is going to absolutely ruin me. <laughs> I don't believe that crit matter. I am like max HP and defense, so... I mean, it bothers me, but at the same time... Yeah, you know... What else can I say about you know, this? Is, this is how it is. <sighs> Wow, that actually did bother me. That actually did bother me quite a lot. Um, run, setting fade. I'm actually going to go for directly for a rather safe knockoff. Man, that did bother me. Because if I got the minus speed, I would have been in a nice position. Let's see. Because I think he's sashed. I think that's the way to go with it. And I believe Sister is like his main switching towards me. So getting a knockoff knock here is going to be great. Let's see how much will we do. Good damage. Lumber actually. That's kind of nice. Alright. Um. There is no way I'm killing here. So I'm actually going to just U-turn. I 
thinking he could go for a Roost here. Roost or knockoff? Let me ask my kind of my play. Um. Let's see, you turn, all right. We were actually flash fire, by the way, and not flame body. It would have been nice to kind of catch that, but for us, where this right, um, I guess Kelio comes in. Yeah, there it is. I know you. Could this be specs? That's the question. I find that hard to believe. I'm actually going to send him Majin Buu. He could have flipped turn and just tried to um, get some really cool momentum out of that. We'll see what he decides to do. Flip turn, that is. We'll do nothing because we are really tough. You don't fuck around with that. So, what is his switching? Like, I'm leveling here, but basically, if he decides to bring in Scissor, my Fire Blast could well, very well take him out. And then, I believe, um... Let's see, Katniss. Huh. I don't know about that, actually. What could his set be? I'm gonna go for a counter here. I wanna see if he U-turns or if he goes for a Flare Blitz or Braybird. With draws. To Shad Trio. Well, that's alright. Um, I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. I'm locked in here anyway. I think he's gonna set up Stealth Rocks. Memento. All right, he did not wanna um, deal with that. That's kind of interesting, actually. He's just gonna boost me, so I don't know why I did that. I have no idea why I did that. I'll take it, but yeah, that was absolutely a misplay from his side. I think he realizes that too. <laughs> so right, he's thinking about this. Red Riot. And Bullet Punch will do a whole lot on me, for sure. So, while it is kind of instigated that it would have been kind of nice to get something out of that, I'm not going to take that risk. For obvious reasons, it's clearly a bit on too much side for me. Don't need to do that play just yet. Yeah, his play was Bullet Punch, makes a ton of sense. And my play here is Shadow Ball. It does a side switch out, that's fine. Two Kelios will get good damage onto this. Question is whether or not he keeps like flip turning. But that did alright. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sitting in Majin Buu. He probably flipped turn to his Red Riot again. But um, I really don't know how to tackle Kelio nicely besides the switch-ins. So there's the flip turns, will do nothing on me again. And we'll see what he decides to do. Like, Red Riot is a Pokemon that clearly... Or his sister is, like, tremendously awful to me for dealing with. 
So let's see if he decides to go for that free roost or not. I'm actually going to go for that fire blast this time. I can easily take a bullet punch, but I will be put in a position. But I think he's going to try to roost here. Sand tomb. So he's going to actually lock me in. That's a cool strat, actually. I like that. Connect the fire blast, scissor is out, and I think um, Wiggly Tough did his part. Am I still locked in, though? He's knocked out. I believe I'm not locked in. That's kind of cool. Um, definitely was over predicting there. But that's like that was the, like the level part we broke were in, like basically how to get to position there. <sighs> so there's the diabetes. Never sounded more bothered. Um, that's any miasma. Basically, his coverage should be, or if he can hurt me somewhat, it's gonna be through um, draining case and psychic, I believe. I'm a bit unsure about his. Oh, acid armor. That's not annoying. So he's gonna fatten himself up a little bit. That's kind of cool. I like that. Does he have coal mine too? Withdraws, okay. He did not like that position. Interesting. Question is whether or not Secret Sword comes now. This is rough. This is very rough, actually. Because on one hand, like Mighty Moon comes in naturally, but uh, Secret Sword will absolutely ruin me. And if it's specs, then you know, I'm not in the best position of pulling something like that off. I need to keep this guy alive for sure. He will all, uh, out always outspeed me, so yeah, I'm sending him Majin Buu for sure. But like I said, I do believe Secret Sword does like a like gigantic chunk on me. But he keeps flip turning. So yeah, he he's clearly not feeling confidence, that's kinda good. The amount of damage he does, I mean he's clearly special anyway, but he's gonna wheel it down for all the wrong reasons, isn't he? Let's see, it says in diabetes again. So last time it did go for acid armor. Guess we're doing this back and forth. I'm not particularly fond of this, but basically I have no like real response. I don't believe he can attack me properly, and yeah, if I, he goes directly for Keldio for a flip turn, you know, so be it. Eventually, I'm gonna get like one of those weird position plays that might help or might not help. But he gets a free acid armor every time here. I can only think it's draining kiss, fire covers with mystical fire, possibly. Um, and the reason I sent in my Chandelure is because I don't believe he beats it. I could be wrong though. I could be absolutely wrong. We do have speed, which is nice. We'll see what he has to offer me. Right, get that special defense decrease directly. And we see Call Mines, right? He is the combination. He is the combination. Coolio. So recover, possibly only one move to hit me with. So I think he only has Draining Kiss as an offensive move. Oh, and we get it again. We get that again. I'm actually not too worried. Though this is, of course, stressing me out, but... I really wish I was hexed this time get the will o -Wisp going. Basically, I think it's too early for him of actually trying to do this with all creamy, but... 
with me not to have in my Gigantamax form active, I'm I'm clearly in a position where I can't set up properly. Um, he decides to Mega Evolve. Going to say, but go for that. But why do I say Mega Evolution Dynamax? Um, as stated, like depending on his move, he could be just Psychic, and if so, he's going to sting an absolute army. But he should only have one way of actually going for one offensive move on me. Let's see. Shadow Ball does all right. Game Max Finale, which of course will recover his HP somewhat, does actually quite all right. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, so we're pain splitting here. Should live this one? No, no, we don't. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, crits. Okay. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's bad. That crit was not good. That crit was not good for us. Oh, that sucked so much. Oh, that's so disappointing. Alright, alright, focus, focus, it's not over. It's not over, but sure as hell isn't, like, I'm not in a good position now. So I'm gonna bulk up and then go for Plasma Fist, hoping to get as much damage as possible onto this. Um, that said, I think this Gmax Finale is going to do a lot of damage, if not even taking me out in worst case. And if so, he gets to win. You, Like, I feel he's still got to win anyway, but... Oh. Yeah, excuse me, as I feel a bit... Um, I'm not frustrated, it just it was so unfortunate. I didn't need something like that as my idea was to wheel him down with another one of these um, pain splits so he would never recover that much HP because now he'll get it and there is nothing I can do about it so excuse me Osan a bit um, I shouldn't say frustrated that's the wrong word but just I had a dumb idea in my mind and I feel um, I feel like I got shut down it's alright though, we're still in it, but um, we're absolutely not in the position I want to be in. Well, I kind of just want to stop here and just say I decided actually effectively to forfeit here as I recognize that not only am I in a winning position whatsoever, it's just a very, very slow death that I felt instead of actually just wait it out, I kind of just want to wrap it up on my own terms as I recognize my opponent really really got, I mean he played this game better, Old Galbina really just got it right and uh, while I am a bit salty, or not salty, but frustrated that that crit came through versus Sean Law, as it basically allowed it to sweep me instead of me being able to of course knocking it out with Zerora, so I, I, I was frustrated about that, I, whether or not it would affect the whole game Probably not, but the differential would have been different that I feel the game wrapped game, wrapped up the game for me and that in its own just um, I kind of lost interest of the game. I think you guys kind of get that um, It's not about you no know, winning or losing, but I hate when hacks are Intervening with something that feels kind of planned and uh, fought out and Basically since it didn't work out. I was now just wide open for a sweep and um my opponent got the better of me. I mean, he, like I said, he played this game a lot better than I did. Better plan, better execution. I really thought I had it my way, but that, that old creamy was a beast on its own. And me not being able to push it down with pain split really just made that game impossible for me to win as a whole. So, yeah, you know, if anything, you know, check out my opponent's side here with Ogilvy. Not really, really, one of those really great content creators that. 
I just really want to see more from, and I really hope you guys would too. And of course, see his side and how he leveled throughout this game. So, really, with that said, I really want to thank you guys for, of course, watching. And um, we're going to do a bit of an update with a few changes with the team that has been going on. I'm not going to cover them here as uh, they'll be more interesting for the next video versus Santiago Snuggles. So, with that said, it's all. Thank you for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Bye.